All right, so now let's say, I'm gonna get rid of this picture in the background. So I'm gonna hit, click on it, hit delete, and then delete again. So now I'm gonna play with frames. So if I go to elements, you can see these are all your different types of elements that you have, but frames and grids are similar. They are what you can put a picture within. So if I hit see all to see all these frames, Maybe I want to put this picture in a circular frame. It gives that image a frame. So I can take my image now, and drag it over top of my frame, and you see it's put it on the inside. So now I have my tree in a nice circle there, and I can make that bigger with my little side things. If I wanted to move that tree around, I'm just going to double click and move it anywhere I want within that frame. Um, and then click away and it saved it. So let's put it back kind of centered. I can see based on my little grid lines here, that's pretty centered within that circle. So anything that has this green hill and the blue background with the clouds on it, uh, that means that you are going to put a picture inside. So that's just the static image that indicates that a picture can go in this object. So you have frames and then grids are like those. They're gonna take up the whole they'll start taking up the whole image um so you see i've got lots of things here oh, so if i hit right click and detach it'll take that picture out of that frame delete so now i can drag that picture up there if i go to my other pictures um, i can put them in these other grid boxes here so that's what grids are they're just nice set up groups of frames if you will so then I can rearrange the whole frame and put it somewhere else. One of the really nice things is you can use your shortcut keys like you would on your keyboard. If I hit Control Z, see it undoes all of that stuff that I just did. Control Z multiple times.